you, Dad. So much has happened in the last eight years since we lost you. It's been a wild ride filled with so much happiness, but also sadness. Losing you, my dad at the age of 20, shattered life as I knew it. Your diagnosis of MND and the rapid progression left us all feeling lost and helpless. The day you died, I was left with a huge ache in my heart and an even bigger hole in my life. It changed life for me, for all of us, and I was forced to grow up very quickly. I was forced to be strong and be resilient. The Sarah you knew is not the same Sarah you know today. I was quickly confronted with my own mortality and reminded just how short life can be. I have grown over the years, as I am sure you would have expected, but perhaps not in the way you once envisioned. Over the last eight years, I've taken a new perspective on life, with lots of travelling, marrying Dylan, who you had the pleasure of meeting and giving your blessing to. We have a beautiful son, Kai, who you would absolutely adore. He is such a sweet little boy, and our family is growing even more with another little boy on the way. I always knew that I would be a boy mum. Since your passing, our family has grown considerably larger. Greg is married and has a little boy, Parker, with another little baby boy on the way as well. Fraser is engaged and getting married next year, and mum is in for a wild ride with four little boys. But she's loving being a granny. With so much happiness, we are constantly reminded that someone very special is missing from all of this. I would have loved for you to have met Kai and witnessed you be a granddad. We talk about you all the time and he knows his grandpa Wilkie. I will continue telling the kids stories of you and how you were the smartest, bravest, most loving person I knew. We still toast a glass of your favourite red in memory of you and update you on all our lives every year. Your journey and our journey with MND left me wanting to do more. I felt a fire ignite inside me, wanting to help others whose lives have also been rocked by this horrendous disease. I went on a trip to China fundraising for MND Victoria not long after you died. FYI, a great way to fundraise is to throw a house party. I know that would have been right up your alley. It was after that trip that I was given an opportunity to work for MND Victoria. I went into it not knowing what it would look like or where it would take me. All I knew was the support that they had provided you and mum was incredible and I wanted to do that for others. I am now an MND advisor and support coordinator. I see people from the very beginning of their journey with MND all the way till the end. You may be surprised to know that I work for MND Vic as it was not what was in the cards for me growing up. However, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. I feel a great sense of purpose working here and doing what I do. I do it for all those with MND and their families, but above all, I do it for you. I wish we had more time. I wish I could have the last eight years and the many more to come with you in my corner. To feel your warmth, your unconditional love and your wisdom. But to simply just be here as my dad. I feel a great sense of pride in the person I have grown into both personally and working at MND Victoria. And I hope wherever you are, you too feel proud. Love, Sarah.